In this video, I'm going to be sharing five basic split gate tips that will help you become a better split gate player. Number one, use your portals. Not too much, not too little. Most of my friends actually admit that they barely use the portals, and that's a really sad thing, because portals are actually your best way to flank an enemy or to create a new point of view. However, it needs to be said that there is such a thing as using your portals too much. Again, portals can be used as windows and new points of view, but that also means for your enemy. If they point their crosshair at your portal, it will actually turn red if they are hovering over you. So they could use your portal to shoot at you as well. And number two, play with your sensitivity. Splitgate has a very different playstyle than other shooters. If you're a Titanfall player, some of it might actually cross over, but even for a Halo player, the game that is often described as similar to Splitgate, you will see a lot of differences. This coming from the jetpacks and the portals themselves, because people will be above you, under you, left of you, right of you, in front of you, and behind you in all the other angles as well. This might mean for you that you will have to raise your sensitivity or even lower it in some cases. So yeah, play with your sensitivity. Number three is a basic FPS tip. This is true for any FPS game, and that is to center your crosshairs. If you've ever played an FPS and you don't know what this is, let me inform you. When you're running around a corner, or you're going into a room, instead of looking at the ground, looking at the roof, or looking all around you, look at the place that is most likely to have an enemy, and try to keep your aim at chest height or preferably even head height. If you do this, you will get more kills than if you don't. If you're looking at the ground and you have to face up and then start shooting someone and you're shooting them in the leg, that's not gonna work, brah. And at number four, portal peeking. Use your portals to create a new point of view behind the enemy or in the flank so you can hit them from there, but also angle them in a position where you could actually use the area under the portal as a little bit of cover for yourself. You can also use these portals to check if the next room that you're about to run into is actually clear. And the last tip, please use your grenades. Please do. I see so many guys run into a room with open portals from the enemy, you hover your crosshair over it, you can see it's red, there's definitely enemies behind it, and nobody even thinks about using a grenade to put down that portal. There's an enemy about to come through it. Why not smash the portal in his face? That's where I'm gonna leave this video. I'm actually considering of making a portal tips video because I do have a couple more. So let me know in the comments down below if you'd be interested in that. And leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss an upload. And stay grizzly.